What's up guys, it's me Chris, and I hope you're having a great day, great weekend, great holiday season, great week whenever you see this video. Uh, I'm here with a new monitor that I decided to pick up today from Best Buy, and I picked it up because I want to experience the PlayStation 5 in 120 hertz. Uh, currently, with my current monitor that is, it is a 144 hertz monitor, however, it will not switch or shift I don't know the exact terminology but it will not give me the 120 Hertz that I need in order to play games at that frame rate it will stay locked at or at that I guess at that that Hertz level is the best way to say it there's not a lot going on on this box on the side here it just kind of gives you the same information there is some information that is a little different on the side here and let me turn the monitor around so I can see what I'm doing because my helper zoned out over there, my daughter. Um, this guy is a gaming monitor, it's an IPS monitor. It does have G-Sync compatibility, has a one millisecond response time, which is really nice, 144 hertz. And it says it in a couple different languages. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we actually have, which is cool. I'm gonna be delicate with the box because if it somehow doesn't work with my PlayStation 5, we will be returning this guy because we can spend that money on something else. All right, so we're gonna open it up and right off the bat, we are greeted with a few things. Thing number one is a power cord and it almost looks European. It's kind of cool. Um, you're greeted with this power adapter here. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see it. I'm trying to hold it into the light, but three prone. Display port, out of which I don't need. You get a couple screws. You get some some sort of clip here. You get an owner's manual, which is cool on a disc. Still, I don't even have any way to play that right now. This looks really cool. It's got a nice red on it. I don't know how well that light's picking that up. It's got a nice red on it. Nice red and black theme here. Uh, that's it's not. I mean, it could be crimson, but I'm gonna say it's red. Uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. We got another piece which I think is part of the stand. Yeah, got like some aluminum or something in there and then some plastic and a screw hole. Man, I, I keep forgetting how big a 27 inch panel is. That's pretty good size. I'm trying not to get all up and touch it and do anything crazy, but it looks absolutely gorgeous. And there you go. So here's the front of it and it's really anti-reflective, which I really like. Uh, in the port section, you got display port, you got two HDMIs, you got power, you got a headphone in, and you got your frequency switching thing. And that's important because I forget what they call the type of switching your monitor needs to do for the PlayStation 5, but from everything I read, this specific monitor does that, which is awesome. And it's really a nice design. Um, I like the shell on the back. I like this circle surround. That's that venting looks nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy on the stand, and then I'll come back once I get it set up. So just like that, here we go. As you guys can see, we got this thing together, and it looks amazing. It's a little short. I wish it had some vertical adjustment, uh, but you know it's fine. I'm gonna find a way to maybe prop it up because. It does have VESA mounting capability, so if you wanted to put it on the mount, which I could do, it's not super heavy, but I, I'm just gonna leave it on the stand for now and just kind of see if I like it, and then I'll go from there. Uh, but it's got that really nice non-reflective screen going on here, so I really like that a lot. Uh, I like the base, and it was super easy to put together too. Not a lot going on there. There's a side profile shot just so you guys can get, so it's not very thick either. And then I'm showing you the, the UI on the back, but this is the actual monitor together. I had this guy right here, which is the Spectra, the C24. And it says right here on the box, this is a 144 Hertz monitor. And it says refresh rate. So this monitor is great. It is a curved monitor. Uh, it's only 24 inches, obviously. And it's been great. I really like this monitor a lot. And I had, the way my setup was, I had a 27, then I had a 24 LG, and I really liked it. Then I went to this 24. I used the LG at my other office. This is that monitor, by the way, so you can see the curved nature of it. 
but just to kind of give you an idea so it's not all that bigger but I mean it's still let's go bottom to bottom that's a pretty good good size dip I wish I'd get out of the way um, I had this one on the face amount which is why it does not have a stand but there's nothing wrong with that monitor it just didn't give me the 120 Hertz refresh rate that I need for uh, the PlayStation 5 I don't know if I'm gonna notice a difference or not either but it's nice to have it so I'm gonna go hook this thing up and then I'll report back to you and show you if we do in fact get a hundred and twenty Hertz out of this thing on the PS5 so stand by see how it's at 3840 by 2160 which is a UHD at 60 Hertz so that's where it goes but you also get a message here that just says that this configuration ain't quite right so uh, there's one button which is awesome one joystick under the bottom that you can use so I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna go back to resolution and I'm gonna change it from automatic to 1080p and when I change it to 1080p it goes dark and then it's at 1080p and when I go to video output video information excuse me it still says 1080p or 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz but when we go into Call of Duty and one more thing I'll show you before we get out of here I'm just going back we're gonna go down to save data and game app settings we're gonna go down to presets and then over to performance or resolution mode and I am on performance mode there I'm gonna go and I'm gonna launch Call of Duty right now so we're gonna launch it it went black yeah there it goes so it went dark and then it popped back in and I'm just going to show you what the resolution looks like once it comes back in looks really good I'm going to hit X and I'm going to go into the settings once it lets me in and I'll show you that we're at 120 Hertz which is what we wanted so I'm just going to go up to the graphic settings which is right here in the game and as you can see ray tracing is disabled and if I scroll down to 120 Hertz you really can't see it. it's kind of wonky right there but it says enabled uh, I'm gonna hit this button I want to show you what this arcade little joystick does at the bottom and once you're at the bottom if you go into game mode this is my current game mode setting and let me stop shaking two hand hold you got 120 Hertz basic and free sync motion blur is off uh, motion blur reduction excuse me is off and then you have fast paced response time and then you have HDR is off now I'm sure you probably could go in here and mess around with some of these other modes like an FPS mode still 120 Hertz I'm gonna try that one and again I love this setup it's really awesome but and you can go into your menu here just by moving it left and right you get this whole menu and it still shows you everything at the top you hit that's going right if you hit left it takes you out of it you press it in again you can go to your inputs and you can go to your power off and just press it to exit if you have any questions let me know otherwise i'll see you in the next one bye